Jim Casey Hart. And uh, oh yeah, I love the presentations we've got so far. Personally, I love incorporating games into my classes for the same reason that uh, Olga Minich that rhymes with. Bringing it all back here, right? right? You remember what it is. Games are fast, they're interactive uh, for our more kinesthetic learners that are really interacting with uh, the class. Games can be a wonderful tool to incorporate. The name of this game is the Storymatic. Now, for those of you who have writing classes, one of the more difficult things that I've incorporated or that I've uh, encountered in writing classes is always around prompts. How do we come up with unique, fast-paced prompts? And more to the point, coming up with unique prompts per students are always a difficult challenge. You can come up with one and have the whole class do that, but yeah, it's not so great. Storyomatic is actually a great tool that I've run into uh, that gives you literally six trillion prompts in one little box. Here's how it works. In Storyomatic, you have basically <coughs> two sets of cards. Gold cards, Storyomatic. I'll put the other one there. Storyomatic, you've got gold cards and you've got bronze cards. Gold cards feature character attributes that may be used individually, so you have a particular character. I'll show you this in a second. A particular character, like say a novelist or someone with a poor memory, uh, that may be used individually or combined to create increasingly complex characters. Uh, bronze cards feature scenarios that may be used uh, as unique points of conflict. So you may have two characters disagreeing about a particular point of conflict. Okay, or you may have each character dealing with a particular internal conflict, if you're doing, say, creative writing, or in one of my classes, script writing, we're creating a dialogue between characters. Now, uh, these can be combined in a variety of different ways. You can assign story uh, elements to particular students, and it looks a little something like this. So, this is something that I've actually used in an online class. It's a script writing class, and we're creating basically a dialogue between characters, and each character could be either dealing with one of these situations, or you could have an individual character combined, or that is a combination of both of these. For example, you could have a house cleaner, who is a person with a very poor memory, dealing with a scenario that is an unflattering portrait uh, or dealing with a situation involving an unflattering portrait at a supermarket after hours. Okay. You can break it out into individual things. For example, a, very, a person with a very poor memory and uh, is having an interaction with a house cleaner and they're all dealing with their own individual problems here. As we go through here, what I've found is it's fantastic when you've got an entire classroom of people. I've used it in news writing, I've used it in media writing just to get students to start thinking creatively because each student can choose, say, a character and a scenario and then write a story or write a dialogue that is unique to them and then turn in something that's, you know, is dynamic. Now, the, the fun part is whenever a student gets something first night in a new home. Oh, what do I do with that? Okay, it's always fun sometimes when a student gets something that they have no idea what they're doing. Well, this is creative writing. This is the challenge, right? And then they present it to the class. Uh, I found that the Storymatic, or Storymatic is actually a pretty wonderful thing to get students to start thinking out of the box. And then when they start presenting it to the class, when they start showing their work, or if we start doing, remember, popcorn reading from when you were a kid? Anyone? Where he's uh, doing group uh, construction of a story. If each person draws, say, a story, a character, or a scenario card, and then they have to figure out how they add their character to the story, you can get some really wonderful interaction between students uh, in creating stories and scripts and dialogues that way. So, the story of I've had success with it. You mentioned.